So this is the base, the completed base for the Robo Bird. And as you can see, it's nicely painted with some lacquer on it. Uh, it's all shiny. And how it's going to work is that the servo gets mounted directly in the middle, like that. And then the circuit board with the Arduino would be mounted somewhere, something like this. So that way you have just enough room. And then on the other side of the servo over here would be where the battery would be. So here's the completed wing construction for the Robo Bird. As you can see, we have the uh, servo horn on here and also the counterbalance and this is so that the balancing point is as close as possible to the middle. Uh, here it's not as exact but you can try and get it as exact as you can. Yep, so we have one for one wing and one for the other wing so that they'll be just like that. Here is the base for the Robo Bird. It's very shiny. It feels fantastic with the lacquer on it. And this servo will clip in just like this. And you'll be able to glue it on there. And this will be for the beak mechanism. The wings will be sitting somewhere around here. So for the base, we're also going to be adding on the sides to the base. So like this for the side. So for the right side, what you can see here is that we have a little ledge and this is so that the LEDs from the RGB eyes and the uh, photo resistors can easily be routed away from the beak mechanism that will be in the middle and then they can safely go into the hole in the base so that it can go to the controller board. We have the two beak halves which we still have to mount and these also look very shiny and yellow and so they'll be going like that. You can see the holes in there that are poked in the popsicle stick so that way it can um, open and close like that and yep. Yeah. So these will eventually be mounted onto the front face, sort of like this. So we have here a separate coffee stick. So these will be mounted somewhat like this, both for the top and the bottom. And of course there will be like a little stopper coffee stick so that it stops it from really uh, going like this way and this will allow it to just open and close like this when it's pushed and pulled and of course there will also be coffee stir sticks at the top to prevent it from moving like this way. Last but not least it's pretty much the same thing here's the back face for the back of the Robo Bird just about ready to uh, glue on the side pieces for the base, which is pretty exciting. I have to make sure that it stays as perpendicular as possible.